asking me all the time, like, with all the Albanians when we're together, why are they so loyal? When you come from a, con a country that's struggled over the years through its history and suppressed and they live a harder life, I think that you, you, you have a culture that thinks different. We are, you know, you're almost family oriented with your whole country. So the country's the country men are like like family men, and it's a small country, Albania, a yeah, couple of million, three million people. But it's different. So Mike and I, we come from Irish backgrounds, right? Yeah. And Irish people, hey, listen, uh, fellow Irishmen, it's good to see that. Yeah. But we're not going to back each other the same way Alba Albanians back you. It's it's an amazing thing to watch. I wa I look at the comments. I mean, I Conor McGregor, he's an Irishman. I like him too. Yeah. But I mean, so I connect with his Irishness. I think he's some. I think he's a little bit like Trump, brash, a little, a little like myself. You know, sometimes outspokenly foolish, but yeah, you know, I think he has a good heart overall. I think I've seen, I've seen some real humanistic things of him in, recently. Uh, I just don't think there's the same backing with other heritages that I see with Albanians. It's, it's an, you, you see people sending pictures on on the comments. They're doing the, the, the thumbs. I, I think it's, I think it's. Uh, uh, so, who's another famous Albanian to be on the big? Like me, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's different ones, but not in my my genre. But, you know. Well, well, so yeah. So so you're in the, the let's say the wise guy mafia. You know. T genre. Genre. And uh, I've never heard of an Albanian. Never mind a famous Albanian. And, and that's not to be disparaging. That's like, what do I know? I, I know I can throw. Maybe a dozen Irishmen. If I if I had think long and hard, Doherty was an IRA bomber, right? Yeah. Right. So we, there's a few that you can come up with. You know, Conor McGregor, uh, mm. Jerry Cooney, American Irishman. So uh, the examples in the world that we have to lean on as Irishmen aren't. I mean, they're listen. Irishmen have made great accomplishments over the years, and I I, I would maybe beg to differ with you that the Irishmen they rally around a guy like O'Connor. But he's an American Albanian. So, for example, if we went to Ireland tomorrow, they probably have pictures of, of, of MMA fighter uh, oh, yeah. O'Connor everywhere, yeah. right? But here's a guy who's an American uh, of Albanian descent that they've embraced and law, uh, and raised up. Has but, it, is it just the, the pool is lower? And I'm not. This isn't a disparaging thing against Albanians. It's like Mike said. I don't know of any other per, uh, somebody of Albanian heritage well, who because raised it, your stature. I, I'll explain why. In, in our culture, because of the suppression uh, since the Ottoman yes. days mm -hmm. and the wars and the fight and the grit, and, and we have like a big honor thing for ourselves that when my grandfather raised me as a kid, I would sit on his knee and I'd listen to Albanian music, right? It'd be on the radio. Wow. And you, you see the artifacts we have here, the Albanian stuff, the Albanian. I got it on my body. Right. And I tattooed on my body. You know, I'm an Albanian. I was raised in America, but I never forgot our culture. I mean, at, at 15, I had Albanian flags tattooed on my body. Right. And I've always kept Albanian flags in my house, in on my walls, so, pictures here, pictures. And I never forget our culture. You see, I talk to everybody. It's Albanian around the world. I call everybody. They call me. And I got this respect for our, our country because we grew up so hard than the people did. But yet we love even though it's it's a tough existence that we love to be the struggle proud of ourselves. You love the yeah. struggle. I love the struggle. Uh, yes. and I love the underdog. Right. And and so I can relate to everything about our culture. And so when I fight back, they fight back right. for me. Right. Because they they stand by your because side. Because you and Irish has that. By the way, you know we've been yeah. oppressed by the British what nine hundred years. Is it? Yeah. So, but it's, no, I'm different. I'm different. I'm Northern Irish. So I actually have pictures of my great grandfather's brothers well, no, celebrating, I... celebrating the day that English overtook Ireland. So oh, it's a okay. little bit different. I'm not Southern Irish. Yeah. I'm Northern Irish. But yeah, you see the culture. Like when you're with me when we meet a lot. Of, you were with me in restaurants. They are so accepting and so hospital as the Albanians are. And so if you come with me, they open their door the same way for. Our friends out of respect for me, they'll do it for you. Right. You know, we all, you know, when especially if something's sad, something happens in a family, you'll see us all bow a little bit, touch our hearts. Right. You know, we show a lot of respect for each other. We don't go against each other. Sometimes when I see Albanians that go against me in whatever it is, I look at them, and even if I don't say something, sometimes I say something. I look at them and I'm wondering, 
who their father was because they're not disrespecting me. They're disrespecting their family line. They're disrespecting well, John, their father. So to be fair, maybe they don't, they don't like what you did. Yeah, they can like they cannot like it or not. They could be opinionated, but to themselves, not verbally against another Albanian. Is that how? Yeah. Is that uh, yeah. okay? Guys? So is that they, the rule? That's the rule. I'm, yeah. I'm learning a lot. Here. Yeah, that's so the rule. I would never. I mean, like, a lot of cops don't like what I did. You know, but, how, you know how many guys I wanted to hurt, and they were Albanian. I didn't hurt them. And I tell people, even in our co- co- country, in our culture, eh, don't do it. He's Albanian, right? <laughs> you know, let it go. <laughs> You know, because he's one of us. That's why you don't break Mike Falace's balls, because yeah. he's got Albanian. Mike, in him. Yeah, yeah, that's why I it's, like Mike. He's half it's Albanian. Got, you know, like, did you know that? Man. Mike's half Albanian. That's why Mike yes, and I get along. Tell, you did so, tell me, and I forget oftentimes. But so yes. you don't have to agree with every. I don't like every Albanian that's out there, but I respect every Albanian that's out there. Because they're Albanian. Because they're Albanian, I want, and, and I'll try to. So if they did I've wrong and they're Albanian, them. you still give them some, some slack. I try to guide them, yeah, and I try to respect them. But, and I'll try to. If I know them or if I know somebody that knows them, I'd say talk to them. You know, there's, a, there's an old man that I like. He's a, a great guy. But his son's really a piece of shit. And I told the son, every time you open your mouth, you're disrespecting your father. Because your father's got a good name. Your family name is good. I said, but you're fucking garbage. I says, and you better remember every time you do something, it reflects on your family's name. So you try to give them something. So that, where's that guy we today? We have an old cultural. Hey, listen. Where's that guy today? If it was my old self years ago, <laughs> yeah. he would have been in a hospital. Right, right. He's now. I let it go as a pass, and he apologized. And, okay. You so know, he, I don't. So I, he came around. He somewhat. He came around out of fear. He didn't come out of, <laughs> uh, uh, of agreement. Okay. And and the difference is again. Here in the United States, you know, people like what's going on, the conflict in Russia and Ukraine. Right. I like the people, right, on both sides. I got friends on both sides right. and some family members right. on one side. But I don't like their leadership. So when I hear this in the media about freedom, uh, Zelensky's not running a free country in Ukraine like everybody believes in propaganda because it's one of the most corrupt governments around. It's poor because of the corruption. First. Second, he's locked up journalists that didn't agree with him. That's not a free country. Didn't they go after journalists in our country this week? Yeah. Well, that's that's I, I heard about, about this. Yeah. I never saw yeah. it, though. Yeah. There's some, there's some key lessons. Happen? There's some key lessons here to learn from Albania in the United States. Absolutely. Yeah. United, with Hey, we're all human beings. We're all brothers, sisters, uh, male, female type of things. But Trans. Trans. We're all inclusive. And that's one of the things we've got to remember. We should back each other the same way Albanians back each other. Well, you have, and you know, we have, and everybody has this belief about Albanians are all gangsters. It's not true. Nine tenths of Albanians are very hardworking people, like Genti. They mm-hmm. came here, the doctor, who's a neurosurgeon. Or you know, you have different people, like the Belushi brothers, as actors. Over the years, are Albanian. I didn't or, know. They're, yeah, they're, they're or Albanian. Joe DiMaggio was half Albanian. You know, so you have a lot of famous people that are Albanian. People don't know. Or Dua Lipa, you know, she's her father's uh, uh, from Kosovo. What a, great, what a great singer. Huh? You know, and what I a great name, concert. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me to that concert, no, guys. You know, if you were in the town, we would have. You got guys like Dennis Bukasha that we went to the uh, the, the fights, who's come up and coming uh, fighter, you know, UFC guy. And you have guys like Capital T, a great singer, and a, a gentleman. I mean, a, a really a gentleman. He's It's an honor to say that he's Albanian to people. So you have... Some good, good people that people don't know. A million restaurant owners like my friend is. Well, you know, we, we, hold on, John. We, 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 you made a point to this when we were at the concert. Remember? Yeah. You were pissed. Be I, honest. Yeah, Be honest. I wasn't happy. And why were you pissed? I wasn't happy because they didn't have the artifacts and shirts with the Albanian flag. None of it. She, and, and now the father's a true Albanian. The parents are. She is. I just think the people that were running her PR of that of that they missed the, had, They missed the boat. They missed the boat because, listen. The I fervor know, from that one country would resonate. Yes. And they love and being attractive. And it is times when Dua Lipa will go out and give the, you know, the sign of the Flamu and she'll, she'll make comments. At this concert, we didn't stay for the whole thing. We did it as a promotion. We went there, We, you know, and I wanted to support her as an Albanian. But I didn't like the fact that I didn't see Albanian flags all over. You right. know, I made comments. I know. You were upset. I was upset about it. Yeah. I went to how many civilians? The vendors. You went looking. to the vendors, too. Yeah, I went to the vendors. Why Why weren't they and the showing? Guy, and the guys are like, oh, you know, I never thought of that. Because black every Albanian too, right? that's successful is a motivation for the next Albanian. Right. And, and that's what I want to see is the Albanian culture keep coming right. up. Right, which comes back to my original statement. We don't really know. The she- guy that wrote my book, I mean, that did my cover, my book. You see the, the, the cover, that photo shoot all the way to the right. That's Fidel Berisha. 
one of the nicest guys around, successful photographer in, in Manhattan, in New York. He, he does Miss America, and he does all the tennis plays, does a lot of rappers like Snoop Dogg. And different, I mean, fantastic human being. Forget it, his talent's amazing. But as a human being, he's exactly for the next person to grow up and say, this is why I respect this culture. And, you know, same in my situation. So if he happens to be Albanian is what you're saying. Yeah, he okay. happens to be Albanian, but he's an Albanian that helps right. others, never turns his back. Today we're going to have a, a, a singer on that's going to come on. It's Remy that's a, an Albanian singer. And so, you know, we have different people I want to show that, you know, I'm proud of our culture. It's not always about, but the one thing that they follow me for and the love for me is not being a quitter to continue striving and also never forgetting our culture. This is, and, and I won't forget our culture ever to the day I die. You know, sometimes you, you know, people say to you in your heart and in your veins, I'm Albanian, but I'm American. So right. I'm very patriotic with America. Everybody right. knows I, I got nothing but respect for this country, for our fallen soldiers, for police officers, for you know, veterans. The, th the thing that made this country great is the people I just mentioned. The thing that makes Albania great is because they're trying to become a, a smaller America. In their hearts, everybody wants that dream, the American dream. They were, they were suppressed by communism for, I guess, 100 years? or Thousands. Uh, forget well, since the Ottoman days. So, uh, so, so we've been a suppressed country. But that wasn't communist. Country. It was just... It was just su well, it was suppression. It, yeah, it was... It was I don't know. We I don't was, know. We were slaves. So, you know, when people say to me, I come from a, a tough background. We come from being slaved. We come from taking over from the Turks. We come from, you know, the wars and communism with Hoja to we developed into being famous a culture before people didn't know what Albania was. If you asked when I was a kid... They never even heard of it. Now you have, you know, you go to Calabria, it's half Albanian there. You go to Barry, Italy, it's half Albanian. You go to Belgium, UK, there's big community, Switzerland, Germany. They're all, so a, a lot of Albanians fled the oppression. Fled, fled into different areas, cultures. Became because of success, the oppression. Because of the oppression and, and became successful. Spreading the Albanian culture, which right. is yours, right. uh, throughout the world. As, but as, you, you act like the Ottoman Empire didn't end all that long ago. What, in 1938, the Ottoman Empire fell? I mean, it's it's pretty yeah, recent. Yeah, so it's pretty Al recent. Yeah. So Albain Al the Albanians have been suppressed we up, you know, that long. Oh, history. hundreds of years. Yeah. And, and, you know, we, we were... Uh, well, so this is a history lesson for me, because, I, I, you know, I, I, I feel... Like I, I'm missing something because I. You didn't, see the, the endearment I, I get know, on the street. Listen, it's insane. So when it's people insane. try to turn my culture against me, I laugh. They don't understand, uh, you know, our hearts. They don't. Even understand. though John's been involved in bad things, he he's an overcomer. Well, did he change his life? Yes, yes I did. Yes, there yes you go. he did. And and my message is for everybody to say yes, I did. Yes, I did. And you know, and when people say to me, "Geez, you grew up hating police." I said, I grew up in a bad way. I don't hate the police. Did you change your life? Yes, I did. Do I Hashtag, stick up yes, for the police? Yes, I did. Do I, do I speak for, for, our, for our police officers? Yes, I do. Yes, I did. Do I go and I, and I do events for fallen officers? Yes, I do. And yes, I did. When I look at veterans that, that sacrifice their lives, like a group of my friends, you can't forget that this is one of the greatest countries around. And when people ask me, why am I so pro-Trump? Because pro Trump was pro America, America first. Take care of your people, and you can always be kind to another nation. But take care of what's here, and then the stronger we are. You know, people tell you all the time in therapy, if you don't you take care of yourself, yourself you can't, can't take, take care, care of nobody of your else. Family members. So when first pro, day of the police academy. So when Trump is saying pro America, take care of ourselves. And we can always help others. But you got to start at you home. have a strong foundation. So policies, they could say what they want. Everything was good in this country a year and a half ago. Right. What's going on is a disaster, and our freedoms are being lost on, and further and further. And when you can't talk about whatever you want to speak about, you're losing freedom in this country. And people need to wake up to that. But everybody in Albania, the best. Subscribe. Follow me. It changed my life. You can change yours also. At the Mike Dowd on Instagram and Michael Dowd on Facebook. At Real Kevin Donaldson and at True John Elite. Don't forget to hashtag Yes I Did and tag us, and we're going to get to your posts in a future episode. Sheeps, anything you want, write a comment, send Subscribe. a message. JohnElite.com, the website, all our books, all our bats, anything in the future, any talks we're doing, it's all up on there. If you want anybody to invite us to a podcast, to any kind of shows, weddings, events, you can hit us up on the website, johnelite.com. 
Don't forget, subscribe. See you guys. Albanian, love yous. America, number one.